Hello, Photoshop Senior Edition folks. We're going to work on something kind of cool today. <clears throat> this is a photo, uh, kind of a takeoff of the lesson uh, from photo corrections. So uh, we're going to do a little trick with this particular image. Hope you, hopefully, you've downloaded it. Uh, but this deer hiding in the bushes, uh, a few berries around it, and this limb framing it up kind of nice. Lots of color, uh, lots of everything. First thing we want to do is make a copy uh, of this layer. So we're going to do a Control J, Command J on a Macintosh. And then we're going to go up to Image adjustments and down to threshold and obviously things get kind of weird <clears throat> this if you remember we uh, used to or have and hopefully some of you still do we find the the white and black points in our image but right now we're going to use this to find uh, some nice blacks and, and whites in the image to uh, use kind of a new technique. So I like this. I can still see the deer outline here in the eyes and still see some nice blacks here framing things up. I'm going to click OK. Normally we cancel this out, but we're going to click OK. So we now have a black slash white layer and here you see it and and we're going to play with this layer by uh, creating a uh, layer mask here in a second but I want us want you to see some things first uh, by changing the blend modes so if we go to the blend modes right here uh, the default blend mode of course is normal so the first thing I want you to do is change it to multiply to see what it does so we have some really deep contrast going on here. You see the, the leaves on the outside have gone pure black. So if we turn the eyeball off you can see what's taking place. If we change that blend mode down to uh, like screen you see that the effect is kind of reversed. Everything really lightens up. If we go down to overlay Again, we have really light areas out here and really dark areas here. So there's a lot we can play with. And if you go down to uh, some of these other blend modes, you see there's a lot of things in here. We're going to go with the black and white or black slash white. And then we're going to click on the square donut down here, the layer mask. And we're going to have some fun painting the layer underneath back in. So reduce your opacity up here. Notice mine's around uh, 16, 18. I, it's so small I can't read it. Uh, but somewhere in that area. Turn on a paintbrush. You want this thing to be very, very soft. Uh, so the hardness all the way over to 0%. And a fairly large brush. And we can make that much bigger. Right bracket key makes it uh, much bigger. Left bracket key, which the bracket keys are located by the letter P, P as in Paul, on your keyboard. And you can just start painting in here with black. Remember it has to be black and white over here, black on top. And, and you can just start painting that in. And what that's doing is letting you see through to the layer underneath. So you can just kind of bring some of that back in and obviously you only bring back as much as you want and leave the rest of it alone. And you may say I like it right there. So that's the really really neat part of this is don't bring it all back. Uh, you can load lots of different kinds of images in to play with and experiment and see what what you like best and you you know you can bring in a lot of this back in 
and then just switch the color back to white down here just click that and go back to white and you can just paint some of that right back out again and just have the deer's color in there so we can make the brush smaller paint with black I just press the letter X and I can do the same thing tog toggling that back and forth and just paint that deer's color back in paint that ear color back in a little bit here so you can control how much of that gets painted in I'm gonna press X to go back to white and get rid of some of that color that's up in here and just have the deer color right here so we can kind of fine-tune what shows here around these leaves and maybe even make my brush bigger and get rid of some of that color that's right in here So it's great to, to have that kind of control, and then we've got, like I say, you've got all this, this just very stark black. But you have the freedom to, to control the amount of color that's in here. And this black, remember, was done with the threshold. So you can, uh, we can't undo this, but we can certainly create another layer and... Uh, do a control J and go in here and do the threshold again this time we can make it even lighter amount or we can go the other way and make it even harsher and now we can paint in color Or we can turn that off, make a copy, go back to image adjustments threshold, and make it much lighter this time. Put on a layer mask, and let's make this one bigger this time. So you get the idea, I think. You could make this, you know, keep making different ones so you can see uh, which one you like the best. You know, turn turn this one off and see, you know, I don't like that one as much. I don't know about that one. So you can, you know, keep experimenting, make it lighter, lighter, lighter until you find the combination that you really like and bring back as much of, of this peripheral color as you want. Thought you might enjoy experimenting with something like that. Talk to you all later.